Bomber 10, 130, uh, some more flight footage. Uh, just got some Nanotech 850-40C batteries today, and uh, this is my second pack. First pack uh, ran through uh, so much. Uh, I, and I wouldn't say so much better, but it's it's a little bit better over the Zippy uh, 1000 uh, milliamp. It's a little lighter, and it, uh, it's so, so... So fun to fly with this little thing. Alright, so let's, uh, let's take a look. And uh, I've also, since the uh, last accident, stripped it down, managed to save, uh, lose about uh, 10 to 12 grams of this thing. Um, so it's about 10, 12 grams lighter. Than it was before. Uh, it's a little windy today, but nothing, nothing this guy can't handle. Here's some uh, punch out. And I also did had uh, yesterday with my zippy uh, had some uh, out of range issue and dropouts. And it looks like I was uh, tucking the, the satellite antenna. And it didn't like it, so what I did today was I just uh, straightened it out, and it seems to do a lot better. Um, so far, no issues. But here we go. Flight time wise, I'm getting about the same. Uh, I'm getting maybe five uh, good minutes out of this thing if I uh, pretty much on a throttle. And the battery and is coming down not not terrible, a little bit warm, but not too bad. And uh, same thing with the motor and ESC on the tri blades. Never had an issue on uh, 4S. Since it's uh, very tiny uh, and it gets away from you really quick, um, by printing the green plate up top does help quite a bit with uh, visibility of the quad. If I can see the plate on top, um, and I, if I can see like a full green, I can usually tell that it's either coming towards me or I have visibility on the side. Um, if it's going away from me, all you're going to see is just the battery, of course. Um, 
but I am getting a little bit used to um, like where it's flying, the directions that it's uh, going towards rather than uh, keeping track of the orientation of the quad and that does help a lot with this uh, little tiny guy. Okay.